Good evening. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the stream. Sorry for taking Monday off there. The weather has been, um, inhospitable lately. I mean, I have AC too, but I mean, just every once in a while you get baked too much and businesses don't have AC set up properly and whatnot. Because we're still pretty... I mean, this is still technically spring, right? But that is neither here nor there. That's, all, that's not even that important, if I'm being completely honest. The important part is... We are at 13 subscribers left till we hit 1k. 13. 1, 3. Until we hit that magical 1,000. Holy crap. <laughs> holy, ho holy crap. That, that's amazing. You guys are awesome. And thank you so much for being part of the community. But it's time for us to get into the game. Let's continue so people can join us. And let's get the voice channel. Wrong one. Not that one. That one. All right, so last we left off, we had completed exactly half of the fabrication. Actually, the more complex of the halves of the first factory part. Wait, what? I have an empty hand? I do. Why? They don't have this equipped. Double Y. Eh, whatever. We're going to get some resources. Starting off with fuel. We're going to stock up on our fuel supply. And then we're going to get resources to finish producing that factory part. Lots of concrete, lots of iron plates, lots of just everything. Let's head over to the fuel plant. Whee! Also, welcome to the Satisfactory stream. I don't think I actually said that. Satisfactory update seven. I try to start my stream by saying that for like a host of reasons. The most important one being is if you're just joining us, or if you're watching the VOD, you know which version of Satisfactory this is. Now, I know I start the stream on the main page of, you know, Satisfactory, so you can see the version number, but uh, not everyone pays attention to that. Also, this is a VOD, so, like, lots of times people just have this on as background noise. Speaking of background noise, I do have a playlist I might want to check out later. Try not to smash my face against the ground. Intentionally. What we got? We got Wolf! What's up, Wolfie? Hello there. Hello there. You're on, you're on time. I was, I was actually exactly on time, to the second. Alright. I'm impressed. I mean, I'm usually within two minutes. I didn't know. Usually, every once in a while, it's like I miscalculated when food's going to arrive, and I'm ten minutes late. But I was—I've been saving something for someone to join the stream. Ah! Uh, ah! Now I see why you were on time. Ah! Yeah, can't pop. Doesn't make you as off time as coffee. I was making a metric fuck ton. Why is it foggy? Huh. I'll be making a metric fuck ton of things. I just need to go to the wall and just get a bunch of resources. Holy shit, is that wall getting big? I extended it last stream by quite a bit. Yeah, I remember that. And the lords couldn't figure out which ones were Mark 3 and Mark 5. No, 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 no. That was before that. Oh, damn. <clears throat> we pulled, we, we, we made it. Even bigger. Oh yeah, those are all Mark Fives. Nice. All right, I need to figure out some math. What the hell is the name of that elevator part? This thing. 
um, assembly directive on. controller? Assembly director system, sorry. We're at a quick, are we at a quick fire? No. Uh, High speed is, connectors were paused. Oh, probably because the quick wire production wasn't up to snuff. Lords was doing upgrades to that. I don't know if he completed it or not. So, Broxel, how are you? All right, let's see here. So I have my one supercomputer a minute. Oh, it was sulfur. I was doing sulfur. Actually, I was doing batteries. That's what I was doing. Oh. One minute. So if I have six of those, that means that I need... We were doing... If I have eight of these, I only need eight per minute, right? Yeah. If I have eight assemblers making this thing, that means I'm making six of these and I need eight adaptive control units a minute. Probably. No, that's not right because it takes Wait. two each. Hold on, sorry, say that one last time for me. Oh, that's the production rate of the adaptive control unit, the production rate of this. Yeah, no, never mind, I do need 12 of these a minute. Shit. So I need 12 adaptive control units a minute. Which means I need 12 manufacturers for that. Should I get my master notepad file up off my desktop? That one. Was Canada being on fire? Same as last year and the year before. Why? It's coast acting like the world is coming to it. What? 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 Are you guys just got a bunch of fires? California's been on fire for the last year. Year? Only? No, it may be longer than that. All right, so I need 12 manufacturers for adaptive control units. Alternate battery recipe. Oh yeah, sulfur should be at the top of this thing. All right, let's bust out an old calculator here. Sulfur is not at the top of this. Why? Oh, that's why. Yeah, I need 12 manufacturers for that. That is insane. Uh, which means that I need... For a computer, I need... 12 manufacturers for computers. Actually, I can get rid of all of these... All of these calculations from before. There it goes. Because now we're on the other half of this. Uh, which means that I need... 12 computers a minute. Uh, which is going to be 12 manufacturers a minute, if I remember correctly? No, it's not. It's only four ish. Four ish. 12 divided by 3.75 gives me 3.2, so yeah, four. Four manufacturers for that. I'm not going to worry about the other stuff here, because I can up that easily. Uh, adaptive control units again. Same thing with circuit boards. How many extra things do I need for the circuit board? I didn't calculate how many I needed. That was dumb. I will fully admit that that was not my brightest move. Where's the adaptive control unit? Uh, there we go. Five per minute. I think that's 60, right? Yes. So that means that I need 60 circuit boards. Wire. Wire I grab. And 60 circuit boards means that I need right here five assemblers. Five? Yeah, 4.8. So Plastic. five assemblers for that. And then the last thing that I require is going to be the very, very unpleasant... <sighs> this thing. I didn't actually check on my those I needed, though. Better 15 times 12 is... 
A hundred and eighty. What? Yeah, that's a hundred and eighty automated wire a minute. Which totals out to what? Something like 60 manufacturers for that one. I'm not even sure I can produce that much wire. Our cable, that's a lot of cable. This is much more reasonable. Except for that high-speed connector. Wait, that's only two manufacturers. Oh, pr for one. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, divided by 7.5 gives me 24 manufacturers! Or I do it at 72 assemblers. I don't know which of those two options is actually worse. Um, yeah, we'll do this one just because the resource requirements are actually not as high per individual unit. All right, so 24 manufacturers. What were you? Do I want to do the staters too while I'm here? Um,. Well, let's do the high-speed connectors here first. So, 24 times 1.875. Whoops, that is not correct. 24 times 1.875 is me 45 high-speed connectors a minute. The wire, I don't really care about. I'll figure that one out as I need to. Uh, the stators... What is 24 times 3.75? A 90 staters per minute. 90? Yep. You have fun with that. Uh, that's actually not that bad at all. I'm getting drones up. Actually, that's like, that's 7.5 quick wire per one. Hmm. But this is only eight wire per one, and wire is way easier to come by. I think I'm actually going to do this wire, this one instead of the quick wire one. Is it going to be capped out on quick wire for the high speed connectors? Is any 45 high speed connectors a minute? Yeah, we'll do this one. Uh, so was that 18 assemblers? Yep. 18 assemblers. We're using the copper wire recipe. All right, let's go back to the adaptive control unit. Because I need to check on the high speed connector. Nice. I think I'm doing this one. I'm totally doing this one. I'm absolutely doing this one. Uh, 45, that's an extra 15 manufacturers. All right, that should be... Th that gives me everything I need for the factories for today. Just for today. I don't know for sure if I'm going to have enough to do this. All right, so... First things first, is we need 12 manufacturers... Well, let's just add these up real quick here. How many manufacturers do I need? How many assemblers do I need? Uh, manufacturers are 12 plus 4. Plus 4 plus 24 plus 15. Gives me 55 manufacturers. And the number of assemblers is... That's it, 23. Okay. Wow, this is going to take a minute. Any control? Nope. And the number of assemblers was what? 
23. That's a lot of resources. We're not going to do all of that. Uh, we're going to focus on just the top three for right now. So we're going to focus on the adaptive control units, the computers, and the circuits. Kind of. Sort of. It's complicated. Uh, yeah, that's probably the best way to do this. So, which gives me a grand total here of... Uh, 16? Yeah, just 16 manufacturers. And... 5 assemblers. Just making sure that my notepad file stays nice and organized. Alright, so yeah, 16 manufacturers, that's a lot more calculatable. At least for a first batch, right? And five assemblers. There we go. Okay. Now we're good. Plastic, we need 800. We need 160 heavy modular frames. I have an odd feeling we don't have that many. Yeah, we should. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, but that's over at the... That's over at your stuff, right? Oh, yeah, sir. That's not that bad, though. All right, we need a bit more cable than we currently have as well. I made a couple of extra stacks. That's a lot of heavy modular frames. And we have batteries. Nice. We'll get drones today, probably. Uh, I just need to make sure we have enough uh, aluminum to hold the battery supply. All right, I head over to your oil deposit and get my 160 modular frames. And then we depart. The hell is that? The hell is that? Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Oh, this is batteries. Yeah. Holy shit, It'll the drone port is fucking huge. It'll take three minutes for this drone to go there and back. How long does the battery last? trip that I have it set for. That seems a, like a lot. It's not going a small a small direction. Where's it going? Over to the over to sulfur. Oh, where's sulfur? Uh right. Right there. Oh that oh that sulfur. Yeah that's a pretty good fucking trip. Are you producing enough batteries? Uh, I will once this gets going. Oh, I mean, that's fair. All right, where is that crate? I always forget where it is. Oh, except that I put a drone on there and it doesn't have batteries. Oh, the frames are going over here. Oh, they're going to this thing. Dude. Oh, these oh. manufacturers, I see it. There it is, it's this thing right here. There oh, should a, there should be a lot, actually. Would you believe there's like barely enough? Really? No, I'm kidding. I'm producing nine a minute. Really? Oh, yeah. Holy shit. All right. To Alberta and then the factory. Yep, to Alberta. And I'll ride the drone back. If you can, just don't fall. Oh, you, you have a you have a glider pack and a jet pack. Yeah. This moves at a pretty good clip going back. Oh yeah. So Except for this one stretch. <laughs> yeah, the one for Alberta going back is awesome. Going to it, I could probably walk faster. Uh, so it's not like, that I'm bad. In this tube and all the trucks are just kind of driving around. 
It feels good, don't it? I know, I just want to see the train driving around. Hey, oh, look at that! Hey, train! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in Alberta, anyway? Uh, that's where the sulfur is? Uh, nope, sulfur that you pinged is way close to the power plant. That's like just behind the power plant. The power plant. The power plant's right here. I met wherever the. Yeah, you're in Alberta. That's definitely Alberta. Yeah. Oh, you're at the. You're at the other sulfur. Oh, okay, okay. I'm at the one that I pinged. <laughs> yeah, but you pinged at the top of the mountain, not the bottom. I could go up there and grab that one too, I guess, but I've already kind of made a setup right here. For this. I'm also kind of using that one. That That's with powering. And it's getting a yeah. Mach 3 put on air right now. Oh, I mean, that's fair. I think I've got it. Do I have enough of that? Oh, I don't. It's got a Mark 2 on it. I know that. Oh, it doesn't. It's going to have a Mark 2 put on it right now. <laughs> All right. Hi, Wolf. Bye, Wolf. Oh, that's your sulfur setup. Yes. So what are you making? Packaged sulfuric acid or? So so that is sulfuric acid over there. This is literally just sulfur ore that I need to ship back to make batteries. Oh. Sulfur ore is used to make batteries. Yeah. Also, you might be right. Maybe you can walk faster than this line. <laughs> Maybe an accelerator. I don't know. This is all uphill. It's not like you can slide uphill. And off we go. It'll take three minutes to do a round trip. And you said 18 batteries? And eight batteries. Ah. Uh, how many batteries are you making a minute? Uh, 40? Oh. Oh, they produce very quickly. Wow. I did not realize that they produced that quickly. Even the classic battery recipe produces like wicked fast. There's no way this should take three minutes. Unless drones like super slow. Oh, it, no, it's I'm round trip. Here. What? I don't know. They just calculated it wrong, I guess. Oh, I think I need to kick this one off. It's, it's interesting that there's water up here. Like, we could build something up here. Alright, so I got everything that I need to... Build two new factories and expand what I currently have. I think. Oh, I hope. Let's move the list over here. This thing can move six and a half stacks per minute. That's quite a bit, I think. Whee! So that's <laughs> seven, uh, almost 650 sulfur ore a minute. All right, let's start off by putting this. that don't say please don't land on the conveyor I didn't I got way closer than I wanted to all 
right, so we want this going all the way up to the top, minus the very top one. We want that going on the top. Not that one, we want that one. long yep just a smidge too long ah oh, whatever that's fine all right and that will hook up whatever goes up onto the next floor which as it turns out I'm not using this entire setup I did this a different way Uh, what goes up here? Manufacturers do. I think. Yeah, this is going to be a quick wire setup. I want to know why this drone has that one. Well, not as many misses as I thought there'd be. Definitely not right. Oof. Oh, that's the autosave. Also, I guess I do kind of need to delete all this. I just delete. Nothing over there, okay. I can't like... Yeah, okay, good. Let me make sure I couldn't actually reach that far. There's a zoop, okay, good. Okay. Here's the part that I need to care about right here. Want to build this here? I feel recharge. Perfect. Now that actually didn't fit properly, so I have to I have to run this manually, but that's okay. I think. That's okay. That fits. Alright. How many manufacturers do we need for this shit? What's up still? So the first thing we need is twelve manufacturers, so two rows of six, I guess. At least two rows of space here. One. Two. Three. Four. Uh oh. I can only fit four. Yikes. I gotta extend this. How wide is each one of these? One, two, and change. In order to fit another two, I have to extend that out four or five-ish tiles. Is 
That would be 10. That happens to be exactly 10. That's 3, right? Yeah, that's 3. 4... And 5. It's like 12 manufacturers is a lot or something. Merger. Yeah, about there. And then six more manufacturers. Aren't you overlapping? No, not quite. Oh my gosh, I realized. Why this drone wasn't coming down? Why? It wasn't connected to power. Oh. Is it dead? No. The, the drone port wasn't connected to power. Yeah, so like what did it do? Did it just run out of battery? Oh. No. I needed to connect. The, the reason that uh, the drone wouldn't land was because the port wasn't connected to power. Oh. I mean, that makes so sense, I guess. And, it just sat there and just kind of flew in circles around it. Re while, you, while, while you were standing on it, of course. Well, I'm just sitting here trying to figure out why the hell it's not working. Oh, this thing needs heavy modular frames. Uh, how many a minute? How many are you producing a minute? Modular frames? Nine. I need 12 a minute. Is there any uh, chance you could uh, up it to that? Oh, so it's just gonna go there and pick up more. Right back. No, it's gonna go there, not be able to pick up anything, and come back. I mean, th that's what you want. Oh, except for that your sulfur is being wasted now. Uh, how big? How big is a stack of batteries? <laughs> this how question is. Yeah, this question is now relevant. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Have, uh, probably fifty. Ah, 50 would make sense, I guess. Well, I don't know. Fuel goes up to 100. I produce 30 batteries a minute. At the, I mean, at the speed of the recipe, I'm guessing 200, actually. Well, we'll find out when I, uh... Only 50. Oh, yes, that is right. I just found that number surprising. This should now line up perfectly. Yes. All right. Technically, these are kind of hooked up. I still need to run power for them. I 
do that right now, actually. I need a stack of rods. Kinky. I always love me a good rod. Who doesn't? Hey, speaking of which, where's Lords? <laughs> hanging on to the government rod. Oh, yeah, no. No, he's not hanging on to it. He's just taking the governmental shaft. Andy? I mean, it's rough work, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> I can say shit like that because there's like a 60% chance he watches these VODs when he's not involved. Yeah, I think 60% is a pretty reasonable guess. This Actually, thing is so loud. Which part? The drone? The drone. I mean, they are kind of loud our IRL. Stacks over 100. Watch it unload its cargo. Uh, I actually don't know how power is hooked up to this building. Be back before you know it. Was that really five minutes already? Oh uh, yeah, I guess I actually kind of. Holy shit, this game is worse than fucking Space Empires. Yes. I fucked this up. Y'all made so much spaghetti right here that I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this in. Woo! That's what she said. Yeah, no, we're we're not hooking this through that wall. Wait, what wall? We're gonna do it just like this. And is gonna have to live with it. All right. Holy shit, I made a lot of supercomputers. Let's just grab a stack of these to save. Yeah, there's a good few hundred here. Uh, I guess this first one probably has a full stack of 50 in it. It does indeed. I'm just gonna Wait grab a stack of 50 supercomputers. It. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> I was waiting for a bit breaker to flip, actually. Sulfur line coming in. Nice, I think. Uh, how many aluminum plates are we use? Are we are we making? Definitely not what I'm using. Uh, aluminum casings or plates? Uh, the sheets. Oh, the L-clad. Oh, the yeah. aluminum sheets. Like, yeah. not an insignificant number. Like over sixty. Fairly certain we're making like a hundred and twenty-ish. I'm gonna go double check because I'm using 53. Oh! I don't know if we're making that many. That's a lot. <laughs> you just said we're making 120. Yeah, I may have exaggerated like a lot. Really don't pretend you've check. never exaggerated. <laughs> My wife knew what she was getting into. <laughs> there ain't no way that's six inches. <laughs> Two and a half? Come on now. <laughs> she knew what she paid for. <laughs> it's about how you use it. <laughs> yeah, no, I can only do two at a time. Uh, we're not making enough of them. 
Yeah, it was a Mark I miner up there. Uh... Like that's right. That is not right. I need to go one closer. Right there. That's right. Alright, we'll do one of these here ish. 225 is what, 450? Uh, no, that's 225. Times two. Uh, 450, yeah, you're right. right. Now we're making 450 that a minute. Okay, so where's this thing here go? About the halfway point of the follow up plate. And just the other side of that. This goes so, uh, right here. Tier three, uh, tier three belts don't quite work for five hundred a minute. No, no, they don't. Okay, so that Wait, should significantly that? increase increase this part. Uh, I believe I did. Yes. Seventy-five, making a hundred and fifty a minute. Oh yes, it is. I don't think I did this right. Yeah, if we're making a hundred and fifty a minute. We're good. There ain't no way in hell that is correct. That is absolutely 100% correct. Yes, yes it is. Well, fuck. There's the first one, there's the second one. It's almost right in the center of this plate. Perfect. There's the first one, there's the second one. Should line up perfectly with this. It does. And then the last one goes way over here at the end. All right. Try again. Yay, mini walls. It is going to suck hooking all this up. I should hook this up the other way. Well, bit too bloody late now. I can't believe how hard it's been to automate this part. I honestly thought I'd have this done in like a stream. Man, was I wrong. If I'm lucky, I might get the first components built today. It, the factory build... My goal is to actually start outputting the parts. And then start increasing the velocity of the parts. Oh. It's not fixed? Looks like, just, looks like it just wasn't meant to be. Did the settings save? Yes. Fuck. So. Well, that's rough because I actually don't know how the trains work. Hmm? Still physically can't play. Oh, what bro? Uh, he just crashes every like five minutes. Even on a reinstall? Even on a reinstall. Did you, 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 yeah, you did your drivers, that's right. Did my drivers, reinstall, got match settings. Yeah, he perfectly matched my settings. Like, 
We found. Putting in a support ticket. <laughs> He's put in. I think. I think oh, he put in like twelve last stream. Support tickets or just the things that it say are his. Uh, crash reports. His, yeah. Yeah, his crash reports. Crash report and our support ticket are different. I don't know. I'll eventually run some hardware tests and see if anything on end's broken. Okay. Well, hopefully you have a good evening. You as well. Have fun. See ya. That sucks. Yes, I learned how trains work. Ah, well. I mean, it is what it is. He was, he was prepared for that. Even a solution. We back here. Oh, I need to go back for L-clad aluminum plates. I am functionally out. 300 a minute. I'm producing 288. 300 a minute. I am short three. Oof. All right, well, either way, that's that portion there done. So that is the adaptive control units functionally linked. They have some more work to do by any more alkaline aluminum plates. I need to upgrade computers. I need to add another four. Yeah. Yeah. How the freak are we supposed to get up to the box? Uh, uh there's a funky ladder. Good luck. Where? That was the, that was the luck part. Uh, it's kind of at the back of like the original iron factory. And it just kind of, it's just kind of standing there. This is curious, right? I know what to do. I'm gonna go. No, this isn't. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a drone up there. You do that? Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for the drone to take off. It'll lift all the way up to the top there. And oh, up. that makes perfect sense. No, turn around, go back to the damn tube, you shit. Oh. Uh, am I not producing enough rubber? Why is the rubber not backing up? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, I'll look at it. No, my rubber, my rubber, not yours. I don't think my rubber's backing up either. Oh. Wait, that's impossible. There's barely anything using it. No, we're good. My rubber's backing up. I see a giant line of it. It's not moving. Because I don't think but I'm I using don't, anywhere near I don't enough rubber. Plastic still. All right, so we need to go and disconnect this thing. Oh, perfect timing. Drone just landed. Awesome, I think. But it's funny. All this drone does is feed itself, more or less. Looks like I'm just doubling the size of this factory. Yep. Shit. That is the least convenient possibility. Let's put that out. I'll trim it up after I put the last four factories down. Production, not some, there's no, nope, 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 nope. Manufactorums. One. Two. Three. I don't think there's gonna be anything to trim off. Hey, hey, actually there is. Oh, how does this need to go through? And then right to the very end. I 
need to figure out this part here too. Yeah, I got room. Balls, give me one of these. What? No, not in. Uh, shit. Alright, organization, logistics, and conveyor merger. Right there, looks about right. We go a little higher than that. Now I'll just go here. Invalid shape, kind of figured. Go, perfect. And then this needs to link to there. Ah. I just need some walls while I'm here real quick too. silica do I have? I have to do a lot of this. And then more regular ones. Three of those along the top, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna have to finish this. Sure, I do. that up. Alright, you have to make sure you're set up. Yes, you are. We have control C on you. We paste you here. We paste you here. We paste you here. We paste you here. Okay, so that's all of that set up. It's set up, it's not functional yet. I'll still need to do all the conveyors. The last thing is the extra five assemblers for circuits. Walkway up to the box side. 
awesome, I think. Wait, functional walkway? Oh my god! That would have taken so long! <laughs> I'm tired of trying to find a way so I've built this staircase. Two. Three. Four. We're a smidgen short. I'll have to make this look a lot nicer afterwards. We are producing enough oxide for this. As the saying goes, the factory must grow. We are ten. Ten short. That's not very many. Like we have drones or something. Well, it's not that it. It's not that it's far away. It's just so far away. Because <laughs> yes, I could easily drone it over here, but I feel like that's a ways to do it. Let's see how far away it truly is. All right, that is functionally everything that I can do without the plates. At least for the first setup. Um, I don't want to do the automated wiring just yet. Oh God, that high speed wiring requiring 15 or more manufacturers is kind of nutty. You have all the parts you need, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, that's why I didn't want to do all of them just yet. The only one I don't have is the automated wiring. Is that thing's gonna just freaking yeet it? Take the last one. The last one is completely stocking up. Excellent. Okay. Is this backing up at all? Actually, yes. Quite a bit. So now I am out producing here. What am I making? Six manufacturers? Uh, six manufacturers is producing me 18 a minute? Yes, 18 a minute. I don't know if this is possible. I think I might be doing the wrong automated wiring recipe. I mean, this thing takes 40 wire on top of that, which this thing takes 40 wire, but it's also only once. So There's only 10 wire each. And one quarter of that. I can get you whatever you need. Just tell me what you need. Um... Sure, I need 180 automated wire a minute. Automated wiring, sorry, automated wiring. Yeah. 180 a minute. I don't think you actually can hit that high of a number. Why not? Well, I'm just trying to do some of the math up. Is this okay? So this is better on stators. This is better on wire, but it takes a high-speed connector, and the high-speed connector costs. I use this technically 30 quick wire each. And it can only be done with quick wire. I mean, silicate's fine. I got quartz out the ass. I'm doing the fused quick wire recipe, so that's not too bad. I'm now, I'm now producing 250. <laughs> 250 what? I'm an idiot. Box type for a minute. Oh. We weren't as low as you thought, were, were you? No, we were at 240, and then I realized that it wasn't overclocked at all, so I threw a power slug in there and upped it to 5%. Oh. 
I needed a hundred and four point like eight percent. Okay, so Caterium I'm not short on. Man, I could make Caterium wire if I really wanted to. Alright. Up the side. Okay, let's start going up. Let's see what we got. We have... We are outproducing everything, and we are using... What is it? 14, I think? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. Pretty sure that's 14. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yes. Are these yellow? No, these are all green. Yes, everything's backed up. Okay. So I bust out the old calculator. 14 times 90 is 1,260. Oh, that's actually not the number I care about. Uh, the number I care about is this. 14 times 37.5. 525 copper ingots a minute is what this is eating. How much am I making? Uh oh. 520 copper ingots? Yeah. Where's uh, a good section of copper? I think I'm making five. Oh, this is just for my quick wire. Because I'm using copper to make quick wire. Okay. This is it, right? Yes, this is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. I'm actually not producing enough copper ingots. Is this produces thirty-seven point five? I'm I'm short one refinery to actually use all of this. Uh, you have a refinery direct. Uh, one refinery. Can you use another refinery? Well. Or do you need another ore vein? I don't know yet. I need to see there's what my limit is. There's oh, there's tons. There's metric fuck tons of copper here. Oh, yeah. 15 times 13 gives me 100. I'm only using 195. Wait, 195. Hold up. I think I'm only producing 120. I ran that copper a very long distance. Well, ooh, what's this? Kenneth Thomas! Look at the channel, thanks for the sub! Alright. It goes the wrong way, I can't slam Wait it. Wait a minute. What's that, Miner? Great question, looks like absolutely nothing. We ding now? Yes! I hooked up the sub alerts. This is iron, isn't it? This is totally iron. Yeah, this is iron, but it's pure. It's also iron, but it's impure. Oh. Oh, I am probably producing a lot more than 120. These are Mark 2s? Yes. These are producing 120 each. I'm producing 240. Yeah, I'm way past the win limit. What's up, gamer? What? Uh, how's the stream? So far, pretty good. Uh, this is to make one item. This massive, ridiculous factory is to make a singular item. Yeah, no, I'm making 240 copper, so I do actually have quite a bit of room for expansion. I need 100 modular frames. So I could up the copper production. I definitely have enough Caterium. So never mind, I can make enough Caterium wire. I'm fine. Am I, though? You're about to, regardless of what you're saying. What are you, say what are you saying? Um, you're about to get a whole lot of fun stuff up there. I'm just going to let you know. Like what? How many drones you want flying around? Well, what, what kind of resources are you going to drop off? What do you need? I, I need automated wiring if you can produce, like, a metric fuck ton of it. I can drop resources off for you to make it up there. Oh, I pissed something off. What I piss off you? Did I snipe him? No, I didn't. Where are you going, bud? Still alive? Hold up, no, I hold up, hold up. I think I can hit this from here. Uh oh. Whoop. Got him! <laughs> That'll 
will never get tiring. <laughs> All right, what's going on with the rubber? What's the hold up here on the rubber? Am I just not producing enough rubber? Because that is entirely a possibility. Uh, you guys are the rubber fabs. You guys are all green, it looks like. Hard to tell this in the moonlight, though. Uh, you're at 91. Oh, that's right. Yeah, these all, these all should be wait, 47. You're not getting enough fuel. Yeah, you guys aren't getting enough fuel. What the hell? Why? Okay, what's wrong with you guys? You're at 91%, which is correct. Actually, no, you guys should be at 100% across the board. You frequently aren't getting enough heavy oil. Yeah, no, your heavy oil is lower than it should be. This should be getting 150. I mean, some of these are backing up. Oh! None of these shit, though. 100%. 100%. I am worried now. Oh, no. Explain that. So what, what is your recipe for automated wire? Uh, it's going to be the manufacturer one, because I hate myself. Okay. So, is there a possibility that I can drone stuff from here out there to help you? I mean, I suppose that's possible. I do need the heavy modular frames. Okay. No matter what, I need heavy out modular there? frames. Yeah. Okay. I can ship that out there. I need 12 a minute. That, that is something I will get back to you on. You, why are you, what? I thought we needed, is that for the... Oh, shit. For the spaghetti thing. Whatever that thing is. The spaghetti thing? No, no, the, the nuclear spaghetti. pasta. Lawrence was working on the nuclear pasta. Because that's what I thought these heavy modular frames were for. Do I need to make more than 12? Um. 12 should be fine. I'll no, just kink that pipe for now. This was set to a hundred. Uh, yes. So this has to fill with fuel first. That's what the problem is. Is that these aren't completely filled with fuel. That's why the rubber is backing up and not producing enough. This should allow the fuel to start backing up now. This is gonna break in a couple of minutes, but it's an intentional kind of break. I'm laying the line per uh, in line fill. Actually, it'd probably be smart if I just kind of. Yeah, it would probably be much, much smarter if I just connected this first. And then set your limit to actually zero. That's full. Excellent. This is completely empty. Excellent. Flow rate is actually zero. Perfect. Okay, now all these fuel lines fill up because I'm at 50% overage of what I'm using. These should all fill up, and then everything should function at 100% again. Yeah. So you think this line here doesn't have anywhere near enough fuel in it? Not even close. Yeah, these lines all have to prime. I didn't wait for these lines to prime. That's why I'm not producing enough rubber. But as that, fr as that finishes priming, uh, this will be producing more than enough. Now I need to head back because I need more alkaline aluminum sheets. A lot more. Oh! I'm okay. Alright, let's head back to the actual base. And we need alkaline aluminum sheets, we need concrete, we need iron plates, we need you materials for... Oh, no, no, I need that for, like, just for building material. I can still drone that over to you. Not this exact minute. I don't have a drone port. Or batteries. 
have they still need batteries. Uh -oh. oh, that's really bad. Oh, shit. There's no way we hit that, did we? You did. All right. I gotta run. I'm, uh... I'm kind of far from base. Oh, and that's not gonna work right now, so I actually have to physically run this. I can disconnect the entire factory if you want to try pulling the... If you want to try pulling the fuse box. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I, I'm gonna be a minute. I'm stuck in a hypertube. And you know, without power, I don't have a way to access the hypertube going from Alberta back to the base. Or back to my factory. Okay, well, I'm gonna start running over to the power plants. Oh, I disconnected uh, four of our fuel, well, technically 16 of our fuel generators. Uh, I'm producing fuel over at my factory, and it's using six, it's making our it's making enough fuel for 16 fuel generators. Oh, and you disconnected all of them? Uh, yeah, I need the line to prime. Ah, so that's what did it. Yeah. Which I can't. Well, it's not gonna prime anymore. I have to. I have to prime it before I can turn them back on. Yes, and I have got to. Uh, actually, all mine should still be primed. Um. How do we fix this, though? Hold on. We have... No. Oh, yeah, we're... All right, let's see here. Pretty you sure this out, is the only uh, power. Just for shits and giggles, let's... let's see how much extra power we actually, actually need right now. Ooh. Everything's turned back on, by the way. Oh, you disconnected a lot of stuff. Yeah, my entire big-ass factory is connected with a single power line. Brilliant, right? Yeah, which... <laughs> it's let, like... me, let me fix this before you... Uh... Before you hook that back up. Oh, I was like, I was running the wire. I don't want it to break again. I don't know. I haven't seen a fuse blow in like forever, man. You can do it. Hey, a drone. I guarantee there should not be a drone out there. I mean, I'm at Alberta. Oh, I was like, there should not be a drone out there. I misclicked. <laughs> you can ride that drone back. Uh, he, he just left. Oh. Uh, I mean, he's only gonna be here in a minute. It'll take three minutes until like, he's got to drop stuff off and pick things up. Why is the sulfur coming in so slowly? The smart splitter? Oh, this is am a smart I, splitter. I, I was like, it should be a smart splitter to the to the drone. Yeah, but I think this is a Mark 1 Minor 2. No, it's a Mark 2. No, it should be Mark 2. Whee! Oh, I know where all of our, uh... All of our power shards went. Where? Into these. What are these? Into the... Into our fuel generators. Oh, yeah. Because the fuel generators are the only thing that can actually be safely overclocked with zero loss. They are completely linear. A power plant at 2.5, uh, 250% overclock, consumes 250% extra fuel, and produces 250% extra power. Which is a power slug like right here. I'm just gonna grab it. It's sounding like we're going to need one. Yeah, because we don't have nuclear fuel yet. Am I good to turn the my factory back on? Uh, let me give me two seconds. You take all the seconds you need. Just a you know, power fuel generator.
Actually, this is a great chance for me to move these damn power lines. Because I, as much as the drone is back and I do want to ride the drone, um, these power lines need to be moved. They are hideous. How many of them are there? At least one more. Oh, I think this is the last one right here. No! Shit. I don't know where this power pole over here goes. Oh no, where the hell does this go? What did I disconnect? N nothing? This is a... Yeah. This was just Matt's misclick. Huh. I think that's the last one. That is indeed the last one. Excellent. Alright, let's run her back. Last day. Oh, I'm out of rubber, apparently. Kinky. Can't have any more fun. All out of rubber. What are you talking about? Running out of rubbers when the fun starts. Depends on who you ask. Did I mention I don't have any kids? <laughs> All right, let's build one of Matt's famous switch stations. Uh, we can put it like right here. So I, I added another low bet. All right, go ahead and plug it in. Oh, I'm gonna be a minute now. I need them there. Boop. And I think I need a crafting bench, don't I? Is there ain't no way I have an AI limiter in my inventory? But I always have the materials to make one. Things backwards. Yes, it is. Oh, that's not gonna work. Man, I wish if I clicked on a power pole, it would tell me how many of each thing is running. That way I could easily count how much gas I need to freaking use. Are you mean Factorio style? Yes. It says, hey, the, the you have 25 fuel generators. Right. Extra, is that what the signs are? Are they an organization? Organization, totally. Shenanigans. Oh, jeez. Um, monochrome power line right there. Fine. Big factory power. Is that gonna apply? No. Uh, layout settings. That one. Perfect. Alright, you ready? 
Yeah. That was fast. Oh. oh. What did we spike at? I actually didn't say. Uh, well, our production. Consumption went here. Where's our production? Production's black. Oh, did we just turn on? Yep. Odd. Why are we producing so much power now? Uh, we're not. Oh, we're not. Uh, we're riding the line right now. Oh my god. Which is sad that riding the line is a, a gigawatt of, of error. <laughs> Neat! Well, I'm gonna head back to the wall. You, you adding that is i need i need to fix i need to get nuclear generation up sorry i'm not doing anything but that now um i is there an untapped oil well there no i thought there was one no we're using it for coal oh i didn't know that was actually getting used yeah we're using it for petroleum coke so we can run uh the steel stuff for all the heavy modular frames. I mean, I have a metric fuck ton of oil up here. Okay. If you want to hook that up instead. Check close to that drone. I don't see it yet, but I do want to ride the drone back. I just want to ride a drone once. It is a little... Well, I don't know. I'm host, so I'm thinking it might be better. He's leaving right now. All right. How long does it take for him to disembark? So it takes three minutes for a round trip, so. Uh, where can I stand on this platform? Probably the railing. Probably the railed area. Probably, yeah. The, the area that you shouldn't walk off of. Yeah, it's four minutes round trip. batteries. This uh, thing uses a hundred megawatts? Yeah. Holy shit! Can you have multiple drops at one? Yes. Oh, okay. So, like, this one right here that I have at base will be used to just drop all the, all the things off, and then we'll have to kind of sort them out into their things. Yeah, holy shit on a nipple, that's an insane amount of re uh, expense. Why does this cost 100 megawatts and then the drone costs batteries on top of that? Oh, there it is. That's a great question. Holy shit, does that thing move fast? Now, once it's in the air, it works great. It has eyes, it blinks. And it's colored like a bumblebee. It even has little antenna. Ah. Oh, are we done? It'll drop off one package and pick a package up and then it should take off. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, this is kind of funky. A little bit. Not as much as I thought, though. Oh my god, it's so fast. Am I dead? Did you try to walk while it was driving? Nope, I did not. It just... Uh, th there it is. I didn't click a damn thing. <laughs> Weird. I stayed on it the whole time. Well, that was a fun 2.5 seconds. Guess I'm walking the rest of the way. <laughs> 
If I had realized I wasn't on the drone sooner, I could have probably jetpacked like the whole way back to base. Oh yeah. I'll, oh yeah, hey, I'll there's a drone. Right. Oh, is that barrel nut? That is barrel nut. I do need a little bit more. What am I at? 11. Perfect. If I can get five more barrel nut, I'm golden. Don't hit the truck. Almost out of fuel. We're fine. Need just a smidgen more nut. Uh, I think there's some right there. Perfect. Okay, so first things first. We need to make some spitter protein. Next things we need to do is make two of these inhalers. Put both of them there. I'm at 17 inhalers. That seems like a lot. Put the protein in there. I guess I should craft a power slug. They should pick up battery power from here as well. We shouldn't have to get batteries out ever for anywhere else. Alright, put the power shards in here, they figure out where they are, right there, and then I guess we'll go stock up on a metric fuck ton of resources. Holy oil field. What? The one up north? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nutty. Uh, Technically, there's an untapped sulfur vein nearby, too. How much... Hold up, let me just check something here. His turbo fuel is, like, insanely effective. Uh, that's compacted coal. But you can make it with petroleum coke, I think. That's also compacted coal. Turbo fuel. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you can make it with petroleum coke. Petroleum coke and sulfur. Three sulfur per six, per six turbo fuel. I don't see a sulfur node on there. Uh, I, I may have exaggerated when I said near. Uh, so we're droning it in. Got it. You don't have the power for that. You have, you have an untapped node right here. I can't ping. There we go. You have one untapped fully untapped node. No yeah, you got a fully oh, untapped there node there. And there's another one right here. Fine, there's a normal right here. Right here. Yeah, 100% droning that over. There might be some stuff up here too. If you're up in the north, uh, maybe just run a sulfur ping. Okay, where am I grabbing shit? Outclad aluminum plates, let's start with that. We better have tons backed up. Because I need just all of it. Oh, it's actually backed up. There we go, there's 1,600, that should be almost enough. Uh, I don't really need any of this. Oh, I, sh I should get a topper on the quick wire, always. Plastic, rubber, I think I'm good on both those. Motors. I have too many motors, actually. Later, crystals, let's just top over crystal supplies. I don't actually need this many. Silica! I definitely don't have enough of that. Modular frames. Uh, do I have a stack of steel beams on me? I do. One stack's good. Reinforced iron plates. Let's top up our stack. Rotors. Copper sheets. Let's top up, top up our stacks. Uh, cable. How am I doing? You guessed it. Let's top up our stacks. Wire, how am I doing? Up oh, the stack. Don't need screws. Iron rods. 
Up that stack. Iron plates. Uh, one, two, three, four stacks of iron plates, and one, two, three... Stacks of concrete? Exactly? There's the fourth stack right there. Okay, good. I believe that's me fully stocked. And I guess we go back now. So we can throw the breaker again. Let's, let's try not to blow the breaker. I'll be a minute. I just gotta dump off some inventory. Well, I mean, you're working on power. We'll be fine. Really, one stack of that. Or that. Anything else? These five motors can go. Ten steel pipe can go. Uh, this 45 steel can go. I have two stacks of silica. I don't need that extra ten there. I don't know why I have 45 radio control units. I kind of want to throw them out. I have 45 radio control units. I have no idea what they're for. Do you want them? I don't want to throw out the radio control units. Those things suck to make. Uh, you can't recycle the one nut. Alright, Wolf. Here you go. Have some, uh, have some radio control units. Enjoy. Let's see that they're getting I awesome synced. I use them to make drones. Oh shit, that works. Don't forget, you're 100 megawatts for each one of those. I know. Trust me, I think about it often. Oh okay. Uh, my fuel line might actually be primed by now. Oh shit! Uh, no, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. I might do this with assemblers instead. I might do the assembler recipe. Uh, it's weary. There we go. So that's a hundred copper wire a minute plus one stator. That's 75 copper per minute makes for it. This is just a better recipe. It's just better in every way. Fuck. There's literally no if, ands, or buts about it. It's just a better recipe. That 75 per minute thing is going to be a problem because it means that only nine manufacturers can be hooked up per line of copper wire. Um... Well, let's start off with, like, let's do eight manufacturers per line, then. So let's plan for eight, uh, eight manufacturers. The first batch shall be a glorious eight. I have to go and get heavy much of the frames. Shit. Is there a non-zero chance of this having stuff in it? Fortunately not. I have lots of medical inhalers now, so I don't have to feel guilty about using them. Which was an issue. So I think the goal here is going to be... Get the automated wiring up. At least some of it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Is once the automated wiring is up, Wolf is handling delivery of the heavy modular frames. Computers is one of the other components needed, which we're already making computers. What's the other thing we need? Automated wiring dealing with. And circuit boards. Circuit boards we're already creating as well. Honestly, circuit boards are one of the least concerns. Right there, that's it.
Uh, give me a solid 30, please. Here we go, for eight manufacturers. Uh, I guess we'll top up on fuel, too. We're down nearly 33%. And we don't come back to base enough to not fuel up on fuel. It's kind of sad, but you know. Why does plastic run all the way out here? Uh, out where? Uh, towards the steel product, steel plates. Never mind. Yeah, there's a there's a lot going on out there. Yeah. If you're out in my setup. Mhm. Mm Everything is being produced out there almost for that whole thing. I want to move the hyper tube on top of this mini wall. Go for it. I might at some point. Not right now though. Really look a lot better. All right, fuel time. Everybody loves fuel time. Right. Now we head all the way back. Twenty four manufacturers for automated wearing. That's a such an insane number. I forgot an extra copper mine. Actually, no, I won't. They're Mark II miners, but uh, I can just put some power uh, some power shards in them. Hey, power shards we got left here. Actually, wait, we don't have the power for that. What? Using power shards on miners. Not at the moment. Yeah, not at the moment. That's gonna have to wait a minute. Good thing we know where those are kept. I can't wait till we get tube transport IRL. Man, there's gonna be a lot of people that die in that. Yep. Can you imagine someone having a heart attack in one of these tubes? And then like, so they're just, if it's a relatively unused tube, they just sit there for weeks until finally you're careening at them at 200 kilometers an hour. Just a dead rotting corpse. Delightful. They would, they would not be left in the tube. You hope not. Well, and if you're going 200 miles an hour, how are they not? They're coming the other way. Okay, but they're still in. They shouldn't be in the tube for that long. Okay, it shouldn't just stop when you die. Or, you know, when they first get constructed, you get stuck somewhere. And there, now you can now you can be there for there a long go. time. Or someone, uh, someone's too fat and they get stuck. Yeah. That's actually, honestly, that's the most likely scenario, if we're being completely honest. Just, does someone get the tube butter? <laughs> no, sir, that's not for eating. All right, let's head to the factory. I think I turned the factory on. The good news is, is that once I get there, I can go and re-engage the fuel, uh, the, uh, my fuel power. Which is good, because everything's probably backed up.
And I calculated it out to be exactly 100. So I'm actually going to do it at 95-ish. I take a very small hit to performance just to make sure it doesn't happen again. Is a small permanent hit to performance beats it completely backing up and no one noticing. Right? Say that again. A small hit to performance beats the entire system shutting down and no one noticing. Yes. But then that should handle most circumstances. Well, that fog was new. I've noticed I'm not getting radiation and damage anymore. Well, it's must have gone on mind that. Oh, I think he did because we have nuke nobelisks unlocked, don't we? Yes. Oh, I can't wait to use those. There's a hard drive there. I'm not sure I got that one. I th actually maybe I did. Eh, maybe I didn't. It's kind of a, a crappy spot, though. I'm not sure I want to go for that one. If Lortz joins us tonight, I need to try something that might completely fuck him over. Just a heads up. But it'll be really funny if it works. And if it doesn't work, it'll look like a glitch, so we're perfect. Would you believe the power died at the exact same point in the hypertube? <laughs> the, like the actual exact same point? I'm nowhere near Alberta to flick the uh, the big power breaker. Neither am I. He's off, right? This is off. I think. Oh, I know something. I can, I need to unplug two things real quick. That'll give us a little bit. Unplugging two things should give us 200 power. Yeah, I don't think we can hook up more drones until we fix a somewhat of our power issue, at least. Yeah, I'm not. For now, I'm at least going to get the, the heavy modular frames at least over to the wall. And that, that's about all I'm going to do for the drones for now until I get the rest of that fixed. Well, the amount of fuel power that you can make over that other one is kind of fucking stupid. Yeah, I will. I gotta get all. Especially, that. especially now that we have the, the uh, diluted fuel recipe. Because one heavy oil makes two fuel. Which is kind of stupid. Right, so these should be completely full. These are completely full. This should be completely backed up. This is completely. Ah, oh, you are not. Okay, give me a second here. Okay, count to uh, 15. I said count to 15. Actually, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't do it yet. What part of don't do it yet? If you do it now, it's not going to fill the fuel lines. Yeah, but it isn't gonna hurt it either. Uh, I mean, it will because then I don't have enough fuel backed up. All right, let me know when you're ready. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready. Uh, I might be ready. Woo! All right, well, we're about to lose a bunch of our power production in three, Two, one, or oh, three, two, one. 
Oh my god, it's just enough. <laughs> oh, that's a little close. Don't worry, you were saved by me. No need to thank me. Actually, I do have an extra oil derrick over here, but I need this oil derrick. It's an impure anyway. Wait, we're lucky I had this set up. Oh, the rubber's backed up. Wait, why is the rubber backed up? I well, know, I guess it's, it's just backed up. Oh, barrel. Nut. So if I look here, there should be a number of copper lines near me. There's so much iron. But there is all of this copper here. Impure, impure, and normal. Normal. That normal might actually be everything I need. Well, that, and I could just beef up this line here because I'm not using the full 240 I'm producing. Um, go for Mark II, Miner. Technically, yes. If barely. Is there anything else interesting in this area? A lot of coal. Like, holy shit, that's a lot of coal. Also, we got all this area here. There isn't sulfur over there, is there? I am out of... Yeah, there's no sulfur. What? There is sulfur over here. Right there. Oh my. Awesome. All right, so heavy modular frames are now in the wall. Ole! Sit. Stay. Good boy. Nut. All right, so we have everything that we need in the area. Oh, that's quick wire. I need a spot to build a fuck off large factory. There's going to be multiple floors housing six manu or eight manufacturers each. Three floors, to be exact. Ah! Uh, how wide does it need to be? I'm gonna do a similar arrangement to that. That works. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten across! Hm, easy. And then we need so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect, we have a ten by ten platform. Good job, I can count. I grab the power slug before I forget about it. <gasps> Let's 
an appetizing sound, really. Alright, so we want the output to go this way. So thankfully, I only need about four of these per side. And what, about a tile and a half back? I'll give two tiles back. These are manufacturers. They give two tiles a tile and a half. I'll give it two tiles. That's one. Two. Three. And four. That's just a smidgen of room to spare. Oh, I guess I just put it the exact same spacing on this side. I don't even need to count that. One. I need my tablet. Actually, I that doesn't line up. Easier. What? What happened? I just need another screen. Fair enough. How did these not line up? Oh, because you are not where you're supposed to be. Got it. And, and I really haven't used my laptop recently, so it probably needs to just be turned on in general. That's a good thing to do once in a while, yeah. It hasn't been used in two months. Now I gotta figure out where my wife put my power cord. Uh, good luck with that one. With your luck, it's being used to power like a speaker or something right now. No. Can't be. Too fat. Well, no, that's what you hope. One, two, three. I think it's in the closet. And four. Okay. So there's the eight manufacturers I require. And all of you are going to be making me automated speed wiring. I think. Right? Right. Uh, none of that lines up, does it? Not at all. <laughs> of course not. Whatever. Air merger lines up there. That goes there. Okay. Well, if your output's hooked up. Last thing you need to hook up your power. It was right where I left it and forgot it. Isn't it astounding how often that's where the, la th the thing you're looking for is? Exactly where you left it. I then completely forgot it even existed there. There we go. But technically all of this is now hooked up to power. Kind of. 
I gotta do four high here, right? There we go. It's funny, I'm trying not to blow a breaker, but I keep plugging things into the same outlet. Are we talking about in game? No. Oh. Is I mean shockingly applicable here. All right. So next up, we got to figure out how the fudge we're gonna hook this thing up. I put this way too close to the damn wall, which I frequently do, almost incessantly. Wait, I don't need four, I need three, do I? Don't I? Yeah, I only need three. That's not gonna work. I can make this work from here, I think. Yeah, probably. This is fine. Right there, yeah, right there. What? My laptop hasn't been used since we moved in. Oh! I thought you were referring to something in, uh, in Satisfactory. Like, like one of the limestone piles that hasn't actually been used since we hooked it up. Oh yeah, that too. Wait one second, where did I put this on the side? I want to be at least somewhat matched. One leg sits on that. Got it. This actually goes right. Right? Awesome. How my oh that thing. And then right at the very end. Okay. We're going to need a metric fuck ton of wire. And a remarkable number of staters. That is not actually where that's supposed to connect up to. All those are hooked up. And that was one. Out of curiosity, if I put this one here. Got enough room for this to hook up to here. Yes! Do I do the same thing one up? Is that enough room? That'd actually be kind of cool if it was. Yeah, 
Indeed it is. All right, we have our hookups. There we go. There is the feeds into the stature factories. All right, let's start getting some wire. So we use the two pure. Okay, so I speak connectors. Technically, I have already. That's easy. Let's let's build this for eight. Yeah, let's build this for eight. I might have to head back to base for this. What recipes do I have for this? with iron it's just a constructor then which means very little space consumed that's super efficient though I do have pure iron though and iron is not being used anywhere else here all right where's that calculator all right so I need 75 times 8. I need 600 wire a minute. I have so much iron. I might actually use this recipe. So let's divide that by 22.5. Let's just see what we get. 26 constructors. That's actually not that bad. Is it? I don't even know anymore. 27 constructors, actually. That's just for this, doesn't include the stator either. Is there an extra Caterium vein near here? I feel like there is. I know there's this one, I think there's one in here too. That's the one I have. Uh oh. Oh, there's one. A kilometer that way. I want the strength. That's normal. I wonder if I should go check that one out. Then do the fused. There is, however, a pure iron node, like, right there. There's two of them. Yeah, no, I can, I can easily supply the iron for this. There's also a normal pure? No. Normal, impure, normal, impure, pure, pure right there. Two pures right there. Okay, I have lots of Oh, there's a right there. What the fuck? And it's a pure. Oh, that's like a kilometer out though, isn't it? Hmm. I mean, 27 constructors sucks. How many is that one, though? I forgot what the actual number is. So 5 times 8 gives me 600, so it's 600. I gotta remember 600. 600. This gives 30. That gives us around 20. Around 20 constructors, and then 20 constructors is... Pfft, about 300 copper ingots a minute. That's not actually that much. Per floor. Yeah, so we need... Let's move on to the next phase here. We're not going to worry about the high-speed connectors at the moment. We're not going to worry about the circuits at the moment. We're going to worry about automated wire and stators, and we're just going to get a fraction of it working. Alright, so I'm going to need 20 constructors.
My constructor's producing me... I'm also gonna need 300 copper ingots a minute. Also, isn't that bad? All right, now then for the staters. All right, so fraction, we're only doing six assemblers. I'm fairly certain it's gonna be six assemblers. Let me just do my math on that. Uh, 3.75 times 8 gives me 30. And... So that's only using half of it. That's 6 a minute. I mean, that's a lot less. Oh, this requires steel! Well, there's iron and shit over there, so that's not too bad, I guess. I just wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's rough. That is such an odd recipe. What is? Actually, never mind. You good? 45 per minute. I need to make... I wish I could just put this in. Oh, man, that's pretty good. Maybe I will use the Caterium one, because I know there's a Caterium vein over there, and I have to go over there to make steel anyway. Yeah, I'm going to use the alternate stator recipe, the quick wire one. This is 22.5. Um, you produce 40, so that's only four assemblers then. I hate this production planner or this uh, this thing calculator that I'm using. Why is that? Doesn't does is using compacted coal instead of petroleum coke. Oh yeah, if you click the option on the right hand side, you can choose your alternate recipes. I did. It just won't let me put in petroleum coke. That's weird. Because if you tell it to use the alternate recipe, it always prioritizes the alternate uh, alternate recipe. That's supposed to. Oh yeah, it's only twelve of these things then. Like 12 assemblers. What should I need again? Uh, 3.75 times 8. Oh, divided by 8. Gives me 3.75 or 4 assemblers. <laughs> the doy. Did it right. That was annoying. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so that's at 675. Let's up it a little bit because I got 900 heavy oil to use or crude oil to use. Put in 1200. Ooh, is right, that so like that perfect? Bad. Uh, 6832, okay. I need 64. That's perfect. Steel pipe. And 6120, 240 quick wire. So on 900 heavy oil, I can make 1200 turbo fuel. For a minute. Holy shit. Assuming yeah, your stuff's a back. Caveat to that. Mm. I need three Mark three sulfur notes. Uh, no, you only need one. I need 600 sulfur per minute. Yeah, isn't that just a... Isn't that a single pure node and a Mark III with a few overclockers? Yeah, that's one Mark III at a, a and, pure a pure sulfur node at 250 percent. Yeah, well, not 250 percent. You're after your math better than that, but. Well, it's 2.5 minus. So wouldn't that be 250 percent? Uh, yeah, but a Mark III on a pure is 360. Uh, two, uh, is uh, just two is 720. 
Yeah, we're good then. <laughs> There's a pure note up there, right? I think so. Normal. 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 Sulfur. Unclaimed. There's a, I think there's one pure note on the map. Of sulfur? Yeah. Oof. Okay, fair enough. And I don't know if I want to tell you. <laughs> Is it the one I tapped? It's no, no, no. It's it's uh, it's over here. One sec. Let me just check my map. Can you ping that again, please. Oh, I see it. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's all you. You can have that one. We're droning it. I'm droning that. We don't have the power for it. Uh, we will. I don't care how we do that. <laughs> you're just, you're just in the, you're just fucking no. No, we're not that doing is, that. <laughs> that is literally the only thing. Yeah, that, that is the only thing. There's power around here somewhere. I think it's this way. Oh, there's power right here. I don't know how this does its calculations. Because it says I need seven and a half oil extractors when I only need four. Is it? It's probably assuming non pure nodes. Okay, so time to put my shopping list together. All right. Oh, I haven't actually put these in. Do I put these in now or do I worry about the staters first? Well, I guess I can figure out the steel pipe and everything here. My to do list isn't working. Alright, so 64 steel pipe. Holy refineries, though. 64 steel pipe, 64? Yeah, that's that's basically five of these. So it's gonna be five constructors. And 150 steel we'll units. Make, I don't know if we're gonna be able to power this. And then 240 quick wire. I actually I don't need to tap that quick wire vein. That's right, I don't need to tap that. Hi Wolf! I, my my to-do list wasn't working. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, yes, I'm how massive. How many blenders I need? Blenders? Yes. Blenders. No, I don't know. Probably like 10 or 12. 31. Oh, right. That's for... Time to downscale. Uh, let's go for 10. <laughs> we call that being modular. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I can do it in a blueprint, in blueprint format, and yeah, my my blueprint or my my to-do list isn't working. What the freak? That is odd. I had that happen to me too. I just had to remove and add an extra item, but obviously that's not your case. Yeah, that's 150 steel ingots and yeah, 240 quickware. I mean, 240 quickwire is. Okay, so there's two different ways to make quick wire fudge. I can do it this way, which is actually like stupidly efficient. Or I can do it this way. That's only 60. Wait, what? That's only 48 Caterium ingots. That's nothing. Oh. Oakley Doakley. <laughs> uh, that's uh, four constructors. And, uh, yeah, uh, 48 cherry ingots. So we can actually do this system. We can do this in two parts. I need to go back to base, I think. Yeah, we can do this in two parts. Because, uh, I'm producing 1,200, which is two lines. So that'll be two separate systems two separate, two complete separate systems. Give me a second, sorry, I'm just counting here. So I'm going to need eight manufacturers. Uh... 
20 constructors? No, I need more than 20. I need 20 just for that. 25, 29 constructors. 29 constructors and... How many assemblers am I at here? Uh... Or... Or? Really? Yeah, just four assemblers. Oh, and I, I need an amount of foundries. Uh, 150 steel ingots at the recipe that I want. Which recipe do I want? Uh, not that one. That one sucks. This one's not bad. Uh, what are you using? Is that compacted coal? That is compacted coal. I mean, that's not a bad recipe. I don't want to use the petroleum coke one. And this I'm is like a 50% gain. This is better. Stupid. I figured it yeah, out. This one. Uh, 150. I need three foundries. You can minimize your recipe to do list where it doesn't show up. I didn't know you could minimize it. Uh, yeah. Neat. How do you do it? So if you click on your to do list or on the far right, if you go far right to where it kind of like, or you edit, hit edit to do list, and then if you click on like the actual recipe word, it minimizes it. Oh. I don't know why you would do that. Why do I think I need eight manufacturers? I don't need any manufacturers. Yeah, I don't need that. I do need 29 constructors, need... though. I'm gonna need one Mark three miner. I need 21 of these. I need three of these. Uh, what else do I need here? Get oh, and get some fine on. We're just gonna do four still. Uh, four assemblers. Three foundries, 29. Yeah, that's it. So I do have a very minor shopping list. Cool beans? We are approaching the end of our journey. Oh, shit. Uh, and, uh, what? Three Mark II miners? I think I need three Mark II miners. <laughs> my, my shopping list is massive. Yes, I need three Mark II miners. I hope we're making control. Are we making radio control units? I need four. We do. We are making them, yes. Where? Actually, what is the power consumption on the Mark III miners? 30 versus 12. That is over double. Damn. Oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough room for all of these motors. I don't have room for all of this bussy. Oh, not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stacks of motors. <laughs> I've, I've done a few of those. It feels pretty good every time. Actually, I should double check the rubber and make sure the rubber is going well. The modular frames, I need 4 stacks of that. Rubber is completely backed up. All right, so that is clearly working at full efficiency. Is anything not backed up? <laughs> I'm gonna... No. I'm gonna use, Excellent. I'm gonna use a, some tickets right here, too. I think we're almost out of stuff to buy tickets with anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna use it to buy some stuff. Oakley doakley. Just because I am too lazy to... I mean, I got a shopping list myself. Plus, I got to stock up on stuff for platforms and shit. 70 rotors. The nice thing about you doing modularly, it means that I can start getting heavy modular frames out here soon. 
Uh, how many am I actually going to need? I, for a grand total, I'm going to need 8,000. Heavy modular frames total. Yeah, so it's not actually that bad. And I mean, technically I'm only building one third of what I need for manufacturing at the moment because the requirements are huge. So if I'm only building one third, that means I actually only need four heavy modular frames a minute. So your current production will actually meet what we need. Hopefully you have enough tickets. Uh, parts. I uh, don't. Cool. I mean, don't forget to process your animal meat. That'll get us a bunch more tickets. Assuming you've been making protein, of course. No, because I haven't been killing anything. How do you not kill anything? I took five steps out of the base and I had to kill three hogs. I jumped off of a building and landed on a spitter. I don't go near them. Uh, why is this backing up? This shouldn't ever back up. Uh, my heavy oil production here. Why aren't you producing? What do I need for turbo motor? You're full. Okay, why aren't you producing? Have we made any turbo full. motors? Oh, I'm backed up. Turbo motors? To my knowledge, no. Everybody loves turbo. Yeah, because we're not making cooling systems, I know that. I mean, we have the materials for it, though. Uh, made in a blender. Uh, I think we, do we have both recipes or just the one? Just the one. Ah, damn. I need nitrogen gas, uh, heat sinks. I don't think we're making heat sinks, are we? Not to my knowledge. They use aluminum. Surprisingly enough, they don't use copper. Yeah, they do. Copper oh, they sheets. do? Oh, shit. Never mind. That makes More perfect rubber. sense. That makes less sense. Yeah, either aluminum casing and rubber, hmm. or aluminum sheeting and copper sheets. I mean, the aluminum sheets are easier to get. Does it use more of them, I'd assume? It uses more aluminum sheets than aluminum casings. Yeah, because, yeah, the sheets are a lot cheaper. Like, way cheaper. So it's... I don't know, It's three aluminum casings, three rubber for one. Or it's five sheets, three three copper sheets for one. Uh, let me just take a look see the recipes. You said that was the heat sink? Gonna... Yeah. All right. Uh, I should put nitrogen put gas to one. on one. I think I'm gonna put nitrogen gas on the wall. I don't know if the rubber one is cheaper. <laughs> it produces faster. It does, but I mean. I, they're very similar, and honestly, what the fuck do copper sheets ever get used for? Okay, so I need We're sinking them right now. An assembler. There's that. Small little protein. All right, head back to the wall. I'm waiting for resources. Eh, I'll pick up five more nuts.
All right, let's refill our plates. Our concrete first. Uh, concrete. I want four stacks. Iron plates. I want four stacks. I am at three. There's four. Iron rods. Let's just top up. Screws don't care. Wire. I do kind of care. Cable, I really care. There we go. That should be lots. More sheets. Oh, they're probably not dealing with any piping, so I'm fine there. Rotor, I'm fine. Reinforced plates, don't care. Steel beams. I got a full stack. Steel pipe, I actually don't care that much. There's the full 60 that I require of the modular frames. And let's go craft us up six portable miners. I can only make a hundred of them. Five, and the last one. Six. Make sure that's everything I need for this. If it's Caterium, I'm not, I'm not changing out what I'm doing. I'm just going to tap into the current existing stuff. Uh, the four constructors are included in that list. Uh, five constructors for the steel pipe. So I do need a miner for iron. I need a miner for the other thingy. Oh, I didn't calculate. I'm missing one thing. I am missing one thing. Yeah, one copper miner will be enough. On that pure vein, because that's 240. I didn't calculate a few things. Just a few, though. Copper ingots. You. Uh, what is that? 300, so I need 20 of these just to produce 300 ingots. Yep. I need 20 refineries for that. Let's go grab those. I need 20 refineries for that. And then, how about the steel? We'll be doing this recipe here. Which is 40 per minute times 3, which is 120 iron ingots a minute. Which is 2. I need 2 refineries. Yep, that equals 2. Wow, okay, that's not so bad. Oh shit, I need to figure out how many, uh, how much water I need for each of these. Uh, I need a grand total of eight for that one. And copper ingots. Eight plus eighty. Wow, that's not even a full water extractor. All right, that's pretty easy. <laughs> I, I also need one. <laughs> that's that's embarrassing how few water extractors I actually need for that shit. Okay. I don't have enough encased industrial beams. Thank god we're backing up on these. There's the 250 I need. You bought them? I didn't know he was making them. You bought heavy modular frames? No, 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 no. Fused modular frames. Sorry, it doesn't matter. You bought them? Yes. I should have bought turbo motors instead. Yep. All right, I think that's everything I need. I better make sure I have enough. I got top my iron plates and my uh, iron plates, rods, because I used some. Uh, where the hell are the iron plates I used? Oh, uh, he's straight. Fuck. Hmm. I know I used some. There they are. Oh, not as much as I thought, though. I don't need concrete. Oh, boards. Why? 
This can go on the ground for now. Um. So that knows that. Oh, L clad aluminum plates. What do you do? He he. So he ran. He ran the nitrogen to yeah. the aluminum factory. Okay. When in when when what I was doing was I was running it to the wall. So that was the plan. Okay. He ran it to the he ran it to the aluminum, and then he ran his petroleum coke over the top of it. <laughs> oh, that's some cleanup. And so now, if I want to run this to the wall, I'm deleting. Well, you have like to rebuild that two after. Or three kilometers of his petroleum coke, just so I can run this pipe. Whew. To where it looks pretty. Or, yeah. Or I don't let it look pretty, and I just make it work. I mean, I do want to move the hyper tube into the mini wall that's over there. The what mini wall? The mini wall that goes to the fuel plant. The mini oh. conveyor wall. Gotcha. Is there is a stackable hyper tube thingy? Yes. I know, but I I, did, I was I, I wasn't planning on doing that today. That was not on my to-do list. It was on someone's. I don't know what to say. I honestly don't. Uh, that that oh, was the first line that came to my head was, was someone was going to do it. <laughs> Kitchen gas. I need water. Oh, hey, look, water. Okay, I'm going to have to use that pure copper vein that's over here. They still need 20 refineries just to produce the wire I need. Each refinery is like too wide, I think. Ish. I'll have to do some math. How much time I got left? I got 30 minutes to lay down the biggest refinery factory you've ever seen in your life. Plus the two for iron. How much does that actually use? Uh, it uses... Uh, 35 minutes. Oh, I'm not putting it down over there anyway. That's gonna be over where the coal, where I get the coal from. Is let's see here. I need four constructors. I need nine constructors. Total. Is there another hard drive down there? Yes, there is. There's hard drives freaking everywhere. I think that's a hard drive. Actually, it looks like a hard drive. Um. Yeah, so I need nine constructors total for the quick wire and steel pipe. I just need to run Caterium ingots and steel ingots into the bottom of this factory, and then I should be good. I should maybe yoke out where the steel factory is going to be. Right there. That's... That was hard. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> The copper is going to be a little bit harder because there ain't space for that. Alright, so the copper factory. I think one of these was a pier, right? Yes, these are piers over here. Am I pointing at it? Now I am.
Oh, that didn't refuel my jetpack nearly enough. Uh, I'm, I'm pointed straight at it. It's just really bloody far. That's it right there, ain't it? Oh, uh, no, that's still iron. There's no water over here, is there? Hello, yellow power slug, how are you? Bullseye! Oh, you stopped. There's a power slug right there. And they're freaking everywhere. Yeah, they are. They're just freaking everywhere. What the fuck am I looking at? I see the copper. It's right there. But I want to know what the hell this thing is. It's like a little forest over here. And like a... What? Bad time for like, bad time for like. Uh, so that was just terrain not loading in, and this is... A radio tower and a dead tree. Indestructible dead tree. There is something in this- oh boy, hi! This is the greatest invention of my life, and I love it. And so there's water here, at least. This ain't bad. Very interesting spot for there to be water. And there it goes. What happened? There was two pure veins of copper. Is that the only pure one? Normal, impure. Oh, that one's pure too. Uh, let's go for that one because then I only have to run one conveyor. Oh, bye? Wolf? I'm guessing someone popped a breaker. Right about there. There it is. Yeah, they don't have to worry so much about head lift. Oh shit, he's alive. What is on the edge of the map this way? Appears to be infinite water? Something like that. Oh, that's a big boy. Amazing what a headshot does to one of them. Look for close quarters combat. There's a bacon of garlic there. Oh, 
what the poison over there is for, though. Let's get a miner down. Imagine Wolf will be back in a minute or so. Miner Mark II. Yeah, I'm probably gonna put it over there somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll probably put it like... There we go. Okay, let's figure out what we actually need for foundations. I think I'll go five wide here. That's four. And five. Done. Refineries. Just a smidge wider than one. So 20 of these things. If I go up to 15, it should be lots. And five wide is also lots. There he is. What's up, Wolf? Oh, he probably needs a drag. Breaker? Yep. My battery backup, I think, is broken. Because, uh, it's still at 93%. Uh, do you have it set to send a shutdown command? Do I have a what? You have it set to send the shutdown command when, it, uh, when the power goes out. No. Nope. Not that I know of. Uh, because they usually default to doing that. Oh, I have more. Oh, then I'll save. No, because I've had it run. It literally, like, when I said, there it goes, I didn't even have a time to respond to you. I heard, there it goes. I definitely heard that. I didn't realize that you were talking about your power. Your power. Usually, your I have time down. to stand up, walk over there, and flip the breaker again. <laughs> I didn't even have time to get out of my chair before it shut off. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you did some kind of, like, a breaker overflow or something. Not breaker overflow. Um... Switch overflow. <laughs> yeah, I was like, unless I did that. Like, you just, you drew more power than it could output. Oh, this is gonna suck. Which means I, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I think I'm having GPU issues. Two. Three. Sorry. You're good. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. My math is fucking amazing. I am a god. Okay, anyway, what makes you think you're having GPU issues? So, I, uh... I only... So, there's only two or three games where I ever actually hit above five amps. And it's uh, satisfactory. Oh, sad. There's only one that you're gonna... Uh, I probably know a lot. I, I know many games. The... But, um... Actually, the ultimate, the ultimate test will be when my new headphones get here. So I warrantied out my new ones that I just got last week. Because I think it w I'm hoping it was the USB dongle. It's such a specific thing to go wrong. Fuck. See, like right now. What? Right now, my computer is fine. Okay. But my breaker just went out. Uh, you might want to go fix that. Just turned it back on. See, so I had time to do it that time. So it must have, I must have overloaded it. Yeah, you must have just overdrew, overdrew what it could uh, supply. Which sucks. It's more surprising than anything because you got a like beefy fucker power supply.
can't. I can still hear. What happened? Oh, oh, dude, my side tones went out. Thank you. So I couldn't hear my. I, I hate it because I hate not being able to hear myself. Because if I don't hear myself, I have no idea how loud I'm talking. Oh, you're one of those people. Yes, I used. To, you know me. When did I? Yeah. So it's only been in the last year that I've been semi consistent in the way that I talk. Um, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, it's only been the last year where you've been consistently talking. Well, that too. <laughs> you, that's, you, that's another, that's another story. You were a big time shy boy. But, um, so my new headphones, when I was playing Diablo 4, they would, um, G-Hub so I have Logitech ones. G-Hub would drop out my headphones completely. It would kick over to my desktop. My desktop audio for six seconds, and then it would pick it back up. Oh, that thing. Yeah, I remember. My, well, it, and it happened on Satisfactory, too. My device manager never loses, never lost my, the, the dongle. And so I don't know if it was my GPU just having issues or if it was the dongle. Does that mean your GPU does control audio? Hmm? The GPU does control audio, so I mean that's entirely possible. I haven't actually been on the scene chat. There we go. How many times have we... I'm sorry, I didn't have chat open for a while there, Roxalt. Mostly because I had to drag Wolf in. Um... A 1075 watt power supply? Um, Running 12. Raven, my old computer, uh, runs a 1200. But that's also socket 1366. That's not a fair comparison to modern and regular ass fucking computers. Socket 1366 is god tier. There's a small chance that Raven might be sentient. We don't actually know. Uh, but she does turn herself in, uh, turn herself on, and log on to Windows. Now, that doesn't sound that interesting, except she does it without a drive plugged in. Um, <laughs> we don't know on that one. I mean, as soon as you try to do anything in that instance of Windows, it crashes. Uh, but yeah, she'll log in without a drive plugged in. No Optane either. That's just Raven. Uh, she will also power up for about 15 seconds without a power cord plugged in. You do what? You can hit the power switch without the power cord plugged in. You have enough time to go over to the wall socket and plug it in before it will turn off. Wow. Also, um, if you've ignored her for too long, uh, you have to press and hold the power button or else she won't turn on. That's only if you've ignored her for too long. Not 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 been unplugged, just ignored her. If you unplug her, she's fine. Wait, so then what? I have no fucking clue, don't even try. I got nothing, man. <laughs> that computer is actually cursed. So then what uh what processor are you running in there then? Uh, the very, very first i7. Except mine is the wow. military, mine is the military grade one. That they weren't going to release to the public, just like Socket 1366. Which brings different questions, but we'll worry about those later. What is the high-end, uh, chipset right now? Or Socket type? Uh... 2011? Uh, no, there's a new one. I think it's 20. I want to say 2066. I might be wrong, though. Hey, Rex, so we've only talked a couple of times. Yeah, you are a big, big shy boy. You're getting better, though. Well, I mean, in voice chat, you'll talk about literally fucking anything, which is funny. Because you sound fine over voice. Your voice is just deeper than most people are expecting.
2066 doesn't use... 2066, that's what I have. The newest. Oh, I, for I forgot to mention something really funny about Socket 1366. Uh, that makes Raven... Uh, thir no, 1366. Oh, forgot to mention something very, very unique about that socket that's kind of insane. Uh, socket 1366. So Raven is almost 20 years old. Uh, Raven can have any modern video card plugged into her and she can run just fine. Uh, Steel was using her for about a year while he was getting his computer built. Uh, she ran the newest Modern Warfare at 60 FPS in 1080p. No problem. Max settings, of course. Uh, the interesting thing about her is that Socket 1366 actually has higher output than the newest Socket 2066 i9X. There is no upper limit to overclocking on that socket. There are people that have got it to be a 16 core at 23 and a half gigahertz. That was active cooling, by the way. It just, it's socket 1366. That's the shit it did. The problem is though, is that the, it's PCI 3.0. So there is that limit. Well, hold up. I mean, mm, you know, I'll take that back because it has more lanes than a freaking AMD chip. Um, so although it's a PCI 3.0, whoops, uh, you can have, I think, 16 video cards plugged into it simultaneously without a problem. Because it's Socket 1366. They haven't... Socket 1366 was their first attempt at, at Enthusiast. 2011 was their second. And 2066 was their third. 2066 was supposed to rival that. You can't put that much power through 2066. You could come close to 2011, though. Yeah, it's funny. They stopped making... They stopped making X chips after the 10th gen. Yeah, because enthusiast grade just doesn't make the money. Do I have to run this all the frickin' way over there? Yep, so it'd be easier actually to hit it from this side? Yeah, it would actually be easier to hit from this side. Intel Core X here. There. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, stops at the 10980 XE. It stopped. So, what does the new socket 2066 run at? This side here makes more sense. This building is going to look hilarious when it's done. What are you looking? For? Sorry, what what are you exactly looking for? I'm on Wikipedia on it right now. Um, what is the highest that socket or um? Uh, so, do they make 12th gen processors that go into socket 2066? No, the last one is the 10980X XE. Is the last um, socket set that goes into the 2066. So, what's coming after 2066 then? Or did they just completely stop making enthusiast? As I, as far as I know, so Intel has an X series processor group, mm -hmm. which is the enthusiast group, and they all end in the 10th series. Yeah, so what's coming next? No idea. Oh. On the edge. X299. Oh, yeah, that's it. Is a hefty, a hefty chip, though. 
That is a lot of fucking copper ingots. Like, wow. I'm not going to produce the iron over here. I should, should check. Is there water over where I want to be? Ah, I'm almost done hooking this up. Almost done hooking it up as I look down the lane of infinite peril. No, no, no. Morgan Freeman is discount Morgan Freeman. If you didn't know, you can actually send him like a... He used to have a phone number that you would call. And you could leave him a message and he would actually make like a voicemail message for you. Lots of streamers have... Uh, yeah, lots of streamers do have Morgan Freeman saying their alerts for like followers and shit. Because that was just kind of his thing. I think Sevidus is one of them. Actually, I know Sevidus is one of them. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That enthusiast core is freaking nuts. Which one? The 10980XE. Is that why there hasn't been another one? They just don't need it? 18 core, 36 threads. At a 4.6. Oh, hold up. There is another... Hold up. There is another tier of enthusiast. So, do you know where the X comes from? In the I, in the X series of chips? Xeon? That's right. Because they use the Xeon's kind of technology. Yeah. I bet you there's... I bet you there's 12th gen Xeon's. Because they'll use 2066. These are labeled differently. They're, and they use, some of them use some pretty funky sockets. So, um. Last one was in Q3 of 21. So more recent. Still wouldn't call it recent though. Chip said, it says socket is the F, uh, LGA 1200. Really? It doesn't have a 2066? Not on that one. That's the Xeon E2378G. I went to the wrong side of this. I don't care anymore. Oh, wait. Take a look at this one. There we go. This is what we were looking for. LGA 4677. 4677. <laughs> oh my god. It comes in at a customer price of 13 grand. Yep. That's the one I'm talking about. 56 cores, 112 threads. At a 3.5 turbo clock. It, it will hold four terabytes of DDR5 RAM at 400, or at 40 yards. I think most people know I built a computer that has a terabyte of RAM. Yeah. We had to get RAM risers for it. Plural, risers. That's a, it has 80 PCI links. Doesn't that just give you an instant boner? <laughs> Consider your computer has what, 12? Uh, no, mine has 20... It's a funny number, it's like 21 or 23. Cause I, cause my... Oh, now I'm gonna have to look it up, cause I know my, what is it my GPU use? That's it. The PCI lens are one of the reasons why I have an i7 and 7 i9.
because I wanted to run an NVMe drive at four times, which means it uses four PCI lanes right there. And then plus the 16 lanes for my video card. Yes, yeah, so then it's... So I have at least 20. I'm, I think I have 26. I think it's 24. Because I couldn't run dual 30 gen GPUs. Hey, am I good to blow a breaker? I'm, I'm not in the game anymore. So. It, I'll wait to power this on. Yeah, I would. I, with with kicking my breaker twice, I decided not. Ah, uh, that's fair. Actually, you know what? It's after nine o'clock anyway. Oh, let's see, where are we at? I mean, I'm only consuming 636. over there. Oh, we got the copper set up for this. All we have to do to get the rest of this set up is... Yeah, we just need to do a little bit of steel production and a uh, little bit of steel production and put down the 29 constructors. That's it. Oop. I'm actually going to run these. Oh. Never mind. I'm just going to say I'll run these to a specific location, but I'm actually not. I want the power slug. I'm at three yellow power slugs. Oh, that's protected. Boop. Man, that gets loud when you're close. Oh, all right. So that's as far as this one here goes. What i7 do you have? Uh, currently, it's the low end. Like 5,000? No, it's 7,000. It is still an i7X. Yeah, how far is that coal vein? It is listed on the stream, but it is. Oh, is it? I always forget you put your specs on. Also, my new music... Um, my new music host. I might actually sign out near this. Oh, you have 28. I have what? You have 28. Ah, there we go. Yeah. That's, it's one of the reasons I got the i7 instead of the i9, because the i7 actually had more PCI lanes. Yeah. My i9 has 16. Oof. Oh, I couldn't fucking function. That, that's enough for a video card. That's uh, it. 3090 uses 16. Yeah, well, every video card uses 16. No, 38 uses 8. What? No. Yeah. 38 is not an 8 times card. 3080, PCIe 4.0. I'm staring at, this, at it right now. Wait. Yeah, no, 4.0, that's right. There is no way it only uses 8. Th that can't be right. There's the iron one I need to care about. I mean, it is PCI 4.0. So you can run. Does it use 16 lanes on a 3.0? Oh my god, what is it? 
Where is it? Uh oh. I panic for no reason. So this is this is the statistic. Fire PCIe gen lanes account for less than one percent performance loss. Thirty eighty needs a PCIe four point oh by eight. For a less than five percent performance, it only needs a by four. That can't be right. No, I and that's coming right from NVIDIA's site. Let me pull up video site here. Yeah, because it's I am like a hundred percent certain oh. that it's using six that it uses sixteen lanes. There's no way their flagship card uses like toaster oven amounts of lanes. When a wireless card is using more, it uses more PCI lanes than your video card, something ain't right. Is it weird that NVIDIA is the least informative group of individuals? Well, no, because I guess technically NVIDIA is the bad choice there. My bad for suggesting them. Because NVIDIA is going... It, different suppliers are going to have different requirements. It, shit. Really? I'll look up. I'll look up. Using normals. Yeah, I'll put like, the foundry over there then. It just says I need a PCI Express 4.0 or bus. Does the 4.0 standard automatically include 16 times? Uh, that is a good question. I mean, that would make sense. Uh, nearest water is right here, but I seriously doubt that that's going to support a water extractor. Uh, there is water directly behind the iron line I just tapped. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Yeah, that's gonna be deep enough. For sure that is going to be deep enough. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell! Where is he? Gotcha, you fucker! I hear another one. You know what? I don't know where he is. This is just like when we used to go fishing. I'm gonna want to get a view for this. Oh, there's that thing right there too.
I don't hear a skittering sound anymore. I think I got him. As well as pretty much everything else in the general area. So actually, I gotta delete this thing. This is it. Turns out, since the water is there, there's no point in the conveyor being this long. But that's pretty much as long as it needs to be. Just put down a pipe too, just so I remember it's there. So. So it it doesn't necessarily require 16. It will run on 8. Yes, but you take a performance hit. Yes. Of 5 to 15%. That's that's a notable amount. For when you're dealing with cards as high end as like a 3080 and 3090, well, 3080, 3090 definitely uses a full 16. Um but yeah, when you're dealing with numbers like the 3080, 5-10% is actually a sizable amount. I'm going to die to this. Oh, I'm fine. There's another one right there. I was going to end stream, but I saw this other slug. It's just sitting there. Unprotected? Because we could use some more of those. Uh, one sec. Let me open my inventory after I get back on top of the miner here. You have seven of them. Uh, I have seven blue ones. Are blues the singles? Yeah, yep. those are singles. I have seven blues and where's the yellows? Three yellows. So I have... So that's 16. I, I nearly have 12. I'm one shy of 12. 11. Wait, no, that's 1 over 12. That's seven. 13. Yeah, 7 instead of 13. My bad. But yes, yeah, so I have 13 of them. And then next stream here, we will hook up the water to this. We'll get us some iron ingot production going. We will make some solid steel ingots. And then we will pipe everything Power. into constructors, assemblers, and a few foundries. Get the steel production up get, and get our very, very first... Space elevator parts for phase four up. Because that's all that's required. The other parts are already in production. It's just that I need to improve other production. But we'll start getting it produced at even a slow rate. Anywho, this is where I'm signing off here for the night. Later. Thank you for the games, Wolf. And to everyone enjoying stream, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that like button. We are... How close are we now? How close are we? We are... Putting in. We are 12 subs away. 12 away. For being able to apply for YouTube partnerships. So make sure you hit that sub button. I would really appreciate it. And yeah. Thank you so much for being a part of the best community on YouTube. We'll see everyone on Friday. I see no reason for Friday Friday to be delayed. I have an air conditioner that is fully functioning and I have no work in between. So it'll be perfect. I think I said it already, but still. Thank you everyone for hanging out. It's not a stream without viewers, so it's not a stream without you. Have yourselves an awesome night.